Hello, guys. That counted down quicker than I anticipated. Hey, hey, hey. Happy Thursday. Ooh, Jess, we've got... Oh, it's nice to see you back. Stoked for this one. I knew... You guys, I knew people were going to be pumped on this one. You guys love your landscapes. I know that for sure. Um... Again, my big PSA at the start, I did not paint this painting. I'm quiet? Well, that's annoying. How about now? Is that better? It makes no sense. I changed nothing. And every time something crashes and changes and burns on me, Oh my god, Justin just had his his <laughs> Justin just had his volume low. Cool, cool. I panicked, but we're good. Um uh, All right. You're not fired. It's good. Welcome Dresden. Welcome Sven Golly made it. Hello. All's good. I'm a little like I just woke up like an hour ago, I feel like. So, I'm a little off the chains as usual but it's good it's good it's been beautiful in calgary it was like 16 degrees today and for a winter day that's pretty warm for us oh again i don't know what your guys's temp i don't know what that is for you guys america you americans but that's warm for us yeah morning <laughs> good morning i am having a little coffee Okay, confirmed. Justin got a negative COVID test. I was thinking about you. Good to hear. Justin's just a little strep throat. No COVID here. Probably the one person I know who stayed home the longest is Justin. Could you imagine how ironic if he caught COVID? <laughs> Not funny, but like, it would be ironic, Justin, right? Um, we can't wait to paint some happy little trees. Oh. You know what? This is pretty Bob Rossi. I don't even know. I could not for the life of me find the artist that painted this. Um, it looked like it came from a paint night at some point. Like there was links to it, but every time you click the link, it was a, the video was gone. So as long as you guys all know that I didn't do it, we can say Bob Ross did it. I don't know. But we can even freestyle a little bit. I did a paint night, like a private paint night. I offer those as well, like Zoom paint nights um, for a group actually a group of med students from the University of Alberta here in Canada, <laughs> in Alberta. Um, and we did something similar. It was like a blue wintry scene, um, but then we put snow on the trees. So we can do that too, if you guys want. We're also obviously gonna splatter it. We're gonna make it snowing. You don't have to if you don't want to, but that was my plan to add some snow and some pizzazz in there. The beauty behind this painting is that all we need is blue, black, and white. That's, that's a dream. So we just have to worry about like how much blue to white ratio we're using instead of like mixing the proper color and yada, yada, yada. This double color or one color business is, um, ooh, hello, is very nice and easy to work with. I think everyone enjoyed it at the Zoom. It was funny because it's a very different layout because most of those people have no idea who I am. So it's not just like my like channel where you guys come and I can just like shoot the shit and like talk about myself basically or things that I'm doing. In there it was just like, they'd be like, who is this girl? I don't care. So I would just be like, and we take out the blue. <laughs> shoot the ship, shoot the shit. Did I say ship? Well, we've already started. I've mixed up words. We're on a downward spiral. <laughs> okay, everybody. So we're all excited. What time is it? 10 after 8. Oh, you're trying to cover it. All right. Hey, it's plus 17 today, though. I learned quickly last time. The first time I put no, like I did, I took off the plus 17. And literally like four seconds in, Kenzie said something and I swore. <laughs> So I'm obviously not good. We'll just set plus 17 is just a nice way to stay safe. Sorry, everybody. I don't say crazy swears to all the parents out there. Um, uh, Justin, can we bid on a private paint night? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Write it down, manager. 
But I guess I might as well talk about that too. Hey, Justin brought up a good point. Um, I you was in an art show that was cancelled. So when the show was cancelled, I decided to make an auction website to put all of these pieces on for anyone to auction on them. Um, to bid on them, I mean. So, and then yesterday the show was announced that it's back on. So that's confusing, but I, they're already in the auction. So if you guys follow me on Instagram or on Facebook or on Caffeine or anything, um, all those paintings are open to everyone, Americans, Canadians, not only Calgarians who had tickets to the show. Um, the link I will post on Instagram, it's like 32auctions.com slash Tatayski. The auction starts on Friday, the 4th. At 6 p.m. after everyone gets off work. You can look at all of everything that's on there now. Like my Ariana Grande is on there. The T-Rex. Um, those glitter animals. Lots of stuff. You can get something for Christmas. Whatever. But this isn't self-promotion time. I just had to bring it up. So now. Are we ready to paint? Like should we just get painted? I don't know. What do you guys think? I literally just got a notification saying. Tell everybody about the auction website. Is that not ironically timed? Okay. So, very well planned. Look at that. My brain runs on with, I mean, with my uh, iPhone reminders. That's good to know. So, just kidding. Justin, you started that conversation. So, what an amazing manager we have here, folks. Everyone give it up for Justin. <laughs> okay. Let's just start painting before I get wild. All right. Take out your blue, whatever blue you want. If you want to get spe specific, I picked the wrong blue. This isn't what I want. Uh, where did it go? I am using Prussian blue. Will it? Oh, I turned, actually, I turned off the autofocus. So let's do this one. Prussian blue. It's just a dark, like, navy color, but it, literally you can use ultramarine blue, you can use a bright blue, you can do whatever blue you want. Pick a blue. And give it a night. We're using a lot of blue, so you don't have to be chintzy at this moment with the blue. And you're going to want a big old brush. Oh, and you probably want white as well. Sorry. Let's get some white on our palettes too. And take out either, do you want a square brush or a pointed brush? Just the biggest brush that you want. Um, can you send pictures on here? So... Unfortunately, at this moment, no. Maybe one day. Um, but right now, that uh, is impossible. We do it through Instagram. So if you have an Instagram, awesome. If you don't, you can also email them to me at taylorodinsky at gmail.com. And I can also show the class. Halfway through, I like to show, or usually at the end, I guess, I like to show everybody's because it's kind of nice to see where everyone else is at. Ashlyn got a new phone, couldn't figure out her passcode, but made it in time. Nikki's coming in to say hi because she's probably working, but you're the best. You always come by. But, sorry, my brain's going a mile a minute. So, if you are on Instagram, you can DM me, direct message. My Instagram's the same as my caffeine, as my YouTube, as everything else. Tay Tayski across the board. Plus 10 points, if anyone knows why my username is Taytacy. And Justin, you're not allowed to participate. <laughs> We're listening to some light jazz today. I thought that was fitting. Oh, I'm not on Twitter. I'm not. I don't really actively use Twitter. On Twitter, I'm Taytaytayski. It's a touchy subject. I've messaged the actual Tay Tayski on Instagram or on uh, Twitter. <laughs> Dresden knew. You knew already. You knew. Um, I've messaged the girl many times because she doesn't use her Twitter anymore either. But, you know, what can you do? Oh, good night, Nikki. Thanks for stopping by. Let's contain my ADD for a second here, Taylor. Okay. Painting a picture with everybody. We're basically just going to paint the whole background blue. That's how we're starting. Okay? We're going to start from the bottom up. 
because we want to start working some white into the blue paint when it's still wet once we get up there just to let you guys know what we're doing we aren't going to be using like some people I usually draw out their like some people like to use pencil first to start but in this process we don't you don't need to use a pencil because it's all like shape and color and schlop and paint around yes That's what we usually do here okay so like I said, I'm going to bring out my biggest brush. I like to use the square ones, but if you like to use not square ones, like that's totally okay too. And get your paintbrush wet. And I always like to mix my brush back and forth and make sure I get like every bristle filled with paint. And we're just going to start mashing it on there. So you guys know that I'm a messy painter, so like I like my edges to look like this. Like I don't like to paint right flush to the edge. I like to have it painterly and messy, but if you like it clean, go for it. Don't feel like you have to copy mine exactly. Tender Bear's here. Great Thursday evening for everyone. Thank you. Great to see ya. I don't know why it feels like I've been gone for a long time, but I've, I haven't missed a Thursday in a bit. Okay, Dresden talking about Taytayski. You're right, I didn't answer it. You're, yeah, basically a mixture of my name. My last name is Odinski. So Taytayski added together works, flows nicely, right? I've had my Instagram for like, like when I started college. So when was that? Like 10 years ago, maybe? And I slowly try to get that username across all the platforms, right? Is my show getting a new look for season two? Hey, maybe it should. That's kind of cool. My Etsy is getting a revamp for sure. All oh, you guys painting, you see how I'm just like roughly no like rhyme or reason to which way I am painting. Zero. Hello. Good to see ya. Um, it's okay if it's messy. Like this is just the background. We need to place color on the back so that we can work on top. It has a nice unison color across the back. Yeah, I literally just was saying, Zero, that today is a painting that we can't do pencils and crosshatch in. And hey, if you want to get wild and creative, you can cut that pen and use your fingers. That would be a, a real therapeutic art project <laughs> slash messy <laughs> as well. I thought we'd put on some like sultry jazz. Right? It's fitting. More fitting than what we were listening to before. You can't hear it? Oh, maybe I didn't even put it on loud enough. I'm just enjoying it by myself over here, I guess. No? Yeah? No? Yeah? <laughs> okay, let's get this going. Wow, guys, I never, like, I feel like I don't say my spiel at the start of every paint night anymore. One, don't stress out. Trust the process. <laughs> all of our paintings are going to look weird. They're not all going to look the same to each other. They usually come together at the very end. So don't give up halfway through if you think your painting looks weird. Giving up's not allowed in the studio, okay? And the other rule is ask questions. Like if I'm talking too fast, if I didn't teach something good for you, like if you didn't understand how I explained it, like please let me know. Cause you could be helping somebody who maybe at home is watching and they're on YouTube so they can't ask the question. Or maybe some people don't aren't logged in to Caffeine so they can't comment even though you should log into Caffeine so you can comment, you know? Um. Uh, and what's the last question? What's the last one, you guys? I think that's it. Trust the process, ask questions, have fun. What am I thinking here, you guys? Obviously have fun. It's supposed to be stress-free, so if I'm doing something there, like I'm going too fast or doing something that makes you feel panicked, like tell me to hold my horses. I get wild too, you know? Justin's the only one allowed to stress in the background. <laughs> 
Aw, little penguin, thanks. King Chosen, first time viewer. Well, welcome to the studio, first of all. I'm here at the moment every Thursday. Ooh, Infinite Silver, hello, you too. Every Thursday, as I like to say it, um, at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. We got Joe Kaiser on here. We got Ilum. Wow, look at all y'all. People are just sneaking in right now with the popcorn. Oh my gosh. Just the best. Um, so when people are asking how long it's going to take, usually, I, like, I think this one's going to be a faster one. But when I say that, it takes long. So I don't know. Never more than two hours, but it shouldn't take that long today. Okay, do we have like a nice background? King Chosen, we paint something new every Thursday. Sometimes it's landscape, sometimes it's a little character. We did Yoshi one time, that was fun. And then I put them on YouTube later if you guys wanna try again. Nurse O'Shea, don't forget about water being your friend. That's another really good rule. Water is your friend when we're painting with acrylic. It's a water-based paint. If something's not pulling nicely or like, look, let's see if you guys see how it's kind of like sandpapery looking right there. That just means there's not a lot of water on my brush. Doesn't mean it's bad. You can use dry brush anywhere. It'll just come back. Thanks, King Chosen. I love that. And Infinite Silver, it has been a long time. Where have you been? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, painters. Water is your friend this next step. Very important, okay? It doesn't matter if your paintbrush is still a little blue on it. That's totally okay. Shouldn't change the song quick. We're gonna go right into our white and give a couple swipes of your brush. And we're gonna pick where like our horizon line is going to go in this picture, right? We want to see, it's kind of like where the back, if we're looking down at our picture. Oh wait, where's my hand? Down at the picture down here. Let's say about here. And it's just a rough line, like it's to we're covering over most of it. It's just for us to acknowledge where that line's gonna go. And picture, right? Like we're gonna have a big tree right here. The base of these trees will be lower down. We can sneak the water in. This is just the horizon line. And see how it's not pure white because my brush was still messy with some blue. Oh, this is a little like, like Spanish or something. Let's see. This is dinner jazz. Let's see how she goes. All right, and if you're still painting away, don't stress. We are gonna go on to the next spot, but it's you're, you'll be able to catch up. Don't worry. This is pretty Bob Rossi for sure. Let's see if I can do it. So now I'm gonna teach you a fun little trickaroo that you can play with. So you have your paintbrush, right? Whether it's square, whether it's pointed, whatever. You're gonna take it and go with your white. You're gonna fill one half of your paintbrush and with the other half, fill it with the blue. So see how it is like loaded with two different colors. And if you're not using a square brush, you can do it with one of these ones too. I'll show you. So you can like, oh, where's the camera? So you can load it with two colors, right? And re release, I don't know if that's the right word. Release some of the paint onto your palette. And we're gonna come up, it's gonna feel crazy for a moment, but remember, it's very hard to mess this up because we're just gonna put paint over top of it if we need to. Is that allowed, says Ilum. Everything's allowed in painting, okay? And we are literally gonna just start doing this. Like, look, it's messy, and you're probably going to be stressed. Don't be, though. But see that since there's two different colors on it, we're not just slobbing white in the middle. We're getting a bunch of different color in there. Right? And you're just going to work it. You can even just dip your paintbrush right into just water and bring it back on and kind of work it out some more. I love, is that allowed? That is so funny to me. Guys, there's no rule in painting. It's paint night, you do you, boo. Exactly. So we're first just setting up what this, I don't know, like foggy, snowy background's gonna look like. And keep doing that, keep up charging up your brush. 
And when you look at our picture, acknowledge that it's more white and it gets closer to light blue and to dark as we go up to the top. It's going to take a couple layers of messing around. If that double loading of the brush is like stressful for you, you also don't have to do it either. Am I going to say stressful 40 times today? Maybe. <laughs> Did you dress up as Bob Ross on Instagram? So, actually, I dressed up as Bob Ross here on Caffeine and then posted a picture of it on Instagram, yes. I hosted a paint night dressed as Bob Ross, you guys. That was, that was part of the Halloween special. I transitioned quite well <laughs> into a Bob Ross. Oh, that's so funny. Talking back to like water is your friend, like see how these are kind of like sharper lines, right? We kind of want it to be a little bit softer so you can go in with just water on your brush and like literally buff that baby out. Okay. And we're going to go in with just pure white after we left this layer. So don't worry if this isn't really white yet. We are going to go in with pure white after. Right now we're just trying to catch or capture the fluffy effect of this little background. But one thing that I feel like needs to be brought up when we do landscapes, and especially when we're doing little steps like this, is it's so easy to be like so engulfed in your painting you're this close to it, you're looking at all the details and you find things look weird because you're looking at it so close and you're not remembering that this is literally just the background and we have so many things to go on top of it that people are not gonna see those little details that you are um, acknowledging because you're this close. Take it from me who sells paintings for a living, people do not see the little weird things that you see 90% of the time, okay? What are we wait what and about? What do you mean? Wait, what for what? How is that? Another thing that we have to make sure when we're doing this lighter layer. Of course I have an online store, Infinite Silver. It's my Etsy at the moment or on my website. Tay Tay Ski across the board, you guys. I wasn't lying. And remember how not permanent this is because we are just using the same color. If you got to the top and you think it gets too light, add a little dark like of your original blue in there and just kind of darken it out a little bit. It's tough. You guys can't really see the... It's not showing it very well, the difference on there, but what can you do? When I don't hear from you guys, I, I assume y'all are just paint away contently, okay? <laughs> okay. Oh. And realistically, this is such a fun part. You could do this forever and pick at it forever and ever and ever. It's been four months since you've been here, Infinite. Yeah, that has been a long time. That has been... Good to have you back. Laying down your base, the base is a favorite part. See, yeah, the base of the painting is fun. And just like carefree, you're just throwing paint around. Now, if some of you guys are happy, You can go into pure white and not worry as much about that dark blue, like how we did the half and half. And we can lighten up again some other spots. See how it's still, my brush is still a little dirty, so it will darken up the white a little bit, and that's okay, because we want it to blend in nicely. 
Washing your brush is not the most important in these cases because, again, I've said it like a thousand times, but because we're only using blue, but imagine like if we had red on our brush and then we went into the blue paint, it wouldn't result, the results would be muddy and not what you're looking for. But now if you keep your brush a little dirty, it will almost help in the blending process. Do, do, do. And see like I'm moving my brush around at different angles. I'm just trying to like, sorry if I'm just like talking. <laughs> You guys like I'm painting Taylor, it's fine. Um, I'm just trying to imagine things that people might be having trouble with at home. Oh, thanks for the heart, Kaiser. Everything requires a solid foundation. Mm. Ilum is not wrong. But uh, as we're going through those fluffy little atmosphere pieces remember that if there's an edge that you think is a little sharp you can go in with just water on your brush and fluff it out and if it's not a painter but admire the process i love that yeah i don't want to scare people away that come to the stream that aren't painting along like we love the peanut gallery we like you guys hanging out with us because when people don't talk to me you guys i get really weird and i don't know what to say <laughs> what happened at the zoom that i did when people don't talk back i'm like whoa i don't mom i don't know what to say you're the best thanks peanut gallery okay so one last thing too that i want to acknowledge before we go to the next step we do have to let this dry so we're not like rushing quickly but one thing that we have to make sure is that this white, the lighter strip is lighter than the color we used in the background because see how we're gonna be starting to paint some like trees in the distance, right? We don't want them to disappear completely into the background. We need this lighter color for those to show up a little bit. We're here for you Dresden. You're, you're always here, you're the best. I know there's a few of you that are always here and I love it. You're the Love the regulars. Oh, oops. See, look, like I kind of put way too much white there. But I can just mess it around until it blends into where I want. And of course, like, oops. That's fine. Oh my gosh. Justin. You stop it. You know that's not a peanut. Thank you. <laughs> Gasp. Yeah, the same. I didn't see that one coming either. You sweet, sweet soul. That's a chonky, chonky peanut. You crazy boy. Okay, guys. Now I'm just like, I'm just because I'm having fun, I'm just picking this painting apart. So we'll just stop there. I'll let you guys finish up. What was I about to say too before I got distracted by that beautiful peanut down there? Justin. <laughs> um, uh, when you're looking at the painting down below us, you can see that the sky is like a lot darker up here. And that's fine if yours isn't like that right now. We're going to add that dark in. And it also gives us an opportunity to cover up some like ugly parts if we think, right? Okay. Just let me collect myself here. You can make some little clouds too. Painting feeling like this. Oh my gosh, I did. I, oh my gosh, five of them. Trist, you guys are just spoiling me today. Okay, that one's cute. I haven't seen all the winter ones. That one's cute. Little pangu. Okay, okay, guys, I have to stop. I have to stop. I'm just making little, like, puffy clouds in there. Why? Because why not? How are we feeling about this little white spot? I feel like it's not look. It's, my camera just doesn't pick it up as nice, but we're going for it. You can always go back in and add stuff if you want after. Depending on how much detail you want to add, how much you care, whatever works. Just ignore me because I'm just pet. 
pick picking away. So while we wait for that to dry, because it'll need some time, we don't want to paint right in there yet. We can start by mixing a little bit of a lighter blue. We don't want it this white, white. We're going to start with blue and add a touch of white inside because we want it to be more blue than white. I'll see if my camera will show you what I want it to be. It probably won't. But if you want for reference, we're basically mixing the color of what those trees in the background, like you see they're like the little small ones, like way back here. We kind of want to make that color or that value of blue. See, it all just looks, maybe does it look a little bit lighter on the camera? No, it doesn't. <laughs> I figured out how to tear and off the autofocus. That was a big step for me. Color is going to be number two. Just looks like all the other blue on there. So we'll see how she goes. So we are just going to start. It's going to, you guys can't even see it. Okay, I'm going to make it a little bit darker than I probably should so that you can see it. I'm still using the same big brush I've been using the whole time. The value is not, go or the, um, it's not going to be a huge difference of the blue underneath, but it should be darker than that. Let's just see how she goes. I can see the difference on here, but on the cameras doesn't. Technology, cameras, audio, sheesh, nothing works. Yeah, I blame it all on technology, 100%. Let's see. I'm just trying to get a color that you guys can even see. You know what? That's fine. We'll just, we don't even have to do that step because it looks exactly the same as the blue underneath, hey? We'll just wait for our white to dry, I guess. And we'll start putting those little trees in the background, okay? If you want to do what I just did, I just cleaned up the line with a blue and white. It should be a touch darker, but for some reason it just looks literally exactly the same. And that's just, the cards were dealt right now. But that's fine. Hey, that makes us, it'll be a little easier. Clear up a spot for a step. I'm probably a little bit ahead, so I'll wait for a minute or two, but take out a skinny little brush. Preferably pointed. Let's see here. Just can never find the brush I want in the moment I need it. Okay, so I'm going to be using like a little pointed brush. Truthfully, like some people, again, preference wise, but when they think they have to make little skinny lines, sometimes they'll go for like something like this, like a tiny, tiny, tiny little brush, like tiny. But realistically, this brush here, even though it, you don't think so, can almost make the same thinness of line as this little one because there's more bristle that to play with when it's a shorter bristle it's a little bit tougher use whatever you want though whatever you're comfortable with but a long pointed one it will usually help big brush energy i haven't done a line demo in a long time you know what i'll do it with the trees here so I'm still using that blue that I mixed earlier. And it's okay if it's kind of similar to the base because remember it's going on top of this white so it'll stand out no matter what. And the blue that we're going to be putting in the water, there'll be black added into it so it'll be even darker, okay? So Dresden's right. I used to do a line, a pressure line demo, I guess is a better. Yeah, demo. You said demo. That's a good call. It's hard with these cameras this way, but okay, so... I have this little brush, right? It's blending into the canvas. So if I want to make a very thin line, let me see if I hold it like this. You won't see my face for a second. But if I put only the tip, uh, sure, it'll go right here. If I put only the tip of my paintbrush on here, I can very lightly, like I'm hardly pressing at all, making a very skinny line, right? 
But if I use the whole brush, like I push the whole thing down, so let's do it. I'm just going to do it right here so we can hide it. So see, like the whole brush, like every bristle is touching the canvas. And look at the size of that line versus that one. It's the same paintbrush, but using different pressure gives you different results. So outlines is always a stressful thing for people. They get pissed often because it's always like thick and they're it doesn't go thin in the line that they're looking for. And I like 99% of the time, I blame that on pressure. So it's gonna feel weird. Sometimes it's helpful, like, like real professional artists, not like me, cause I'm just a mess always, I guess. They'll put something like a piece of, like, like a stick and they rest their hand on the stick so that it's not touching the painting. If that makes sense. It's like a long stick. I just use my like pinky on the painting. <laughs> It's dry, it's fine, but I use that like support to like help me bring the brush straight down with lightly, yeah, queen tea, like mm, pinky's out, very important. So when we're doing these trees now, so again, like ignore, you can ignore that thick line. We don't really need that. Look at that, gone. What thick line, right? And we are going to just lightly draw water's your friend, you know? The more water in your paint, the more translucent it will be. So it won't be so thick and bold. Like we want these black trees in the front to be dark and thick and saturated and opaque because we want it to look, appear that they're close in the dis, not, not close in the distance, but you know what I mean? Like in space, they're the closest to us while these little trees that we're drawing are very far away. So it's okay if they're a little translucent, a little like messy and ugly. Okay. So we are going to start by just making some lines with this blue with some white in it. Okay. They can be pretty random. They don't have to be exactly where I'm putting them. I'm following the reference photo as closely as I can. When in doubt. Yeah, you are right. That's exactly how it goes, Dresden. When in doubt, either use your hand or use some water or do whatever you we're going to put a big tree here. So let's maybe put some like little trees here. I don't know. Sure. There's a small one. We can put another one too. Realistically, we're going to have some big trees here. We can keep that one line that we did. It really doesn't matter if in the end we paint those big trees and they go over top some of these spots. Like that's fine. Overlapping shapes is another good way of showing space and distance in a piece. You can even like get crazy if you want and like make this base like really like messy like grass. The bottom there. Tayfax. <laughs> Tayfax that I learned by paying a lot of money to go to college, art college. <laughs> so don't worry you guys. I'll give you some free classes, some free college tips and tricks you've missed thursdays Bengali. what a dream not what a dream what a compliment good to have it back i'm already just randomly tossing trees everywhere guys there's no it's totally okay if you put them somewhere else And these trees are done, I'm sure, like, this is a very Bob Rossi tree, so I wouldn't be surprised if this is something from one of his. Um, if you have one of these fan brushes, you can use one of these to make the trees too. We'll probably save it for the, like, the big trees in the foreground we'll use this for, but if you don't have it too, I'll still teach you with a normal brush. I truthfully never use this in my own practice. Um, but it can be handy sometimes and they usually come in like random little packs of paintbrushes that people get. Okay. So to make these trees, it's gonna look weird, but it's really easy. Okay. We're using that same skinny brush. We're using these trunks that we have placed as our template, I guess. And we're literally just going to draw little lines. I'll bring it closer for you to see. I'm just painting directly left to right. I'm not going up or down or nothing. 
Oh, where am I here? Oh, where's the camera? Oh my gosh. Do you see? I literally just painted it across. It goes longer on some, on some sides. You can skip a space on, like, look, I skipped a space there. It shouldn't be perfect. It shouldn't be perfect and symmetrical and exact because it's nature and that would be weird if a tree looked exactly like a perfect little Christmas tree that you want to, that you imagine in like a cartoon. We want it to be crazy. And since these trees are in the background, again, remember, like, don't worry, don't get caught on the details of it. Like, if you just made a little blob that is this shape, it would also solve the problem, okay? <laughs> Not solve the problem, do the trick of being like, oh, that's a tree back there, right? Skip some branches on one side for dry years, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, though. Like, oh, there we go. See that? Like, when you bring it up close, like, it doesn't really look like anything. But from farther away, you get the implementation. <laughs> what? Like, I make up words all the time. Why? You get the idea, maybe is what I'm trying to say, that those are still trees. Have you seen them sell tower trees? They are fairly symmetrical. <laughs> That's nature. It's nature in our world, isn't it? You can keep one of these and make it a cell tower if you want. All right, even some like, look, let's make this one have like a really tall trunk at the top and let's just start like way down here. I don't know, neat. Sound effects necessary for sure on these ones, but like, just be conscious that usually the branches get longer as you get to the bottom, but they also don't have to. Like, let's make this one crazy. Like this one will have a long one up here. I don't know. Beep. Dee 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 dee. Oh, there we go. Tree. <laughs> like, whatever, you guys. Oh, Madge, hello. Good to see you. How's life, everyone? Sweet angel ask in the class. We're all good. We're painting some trees. A lot of people were excited for the trees today. And I hope they're still excited for the trees. Are we still enjoying the trees? <laughs> I'm just gonna say yes. Ilum's eating dinner. Oh, jealous. I haven't ate dinner yet. All right, we're still just going down and making crazy trees. Like, oh, that one has nothing on that side. Whoops. You mean breakfast? I know, but I ruined. I went back to bed because I only slept for four hours and then I had to go to a massage that I had and go to the post office and then I came home and I went back to bed. So I like, I ate when I woke up the first time. So what would it be, second breakfast? I don't know, you guys, my life's a mess. <laughs> so, still going with the trays. Yes, Madge! Oh, you, you mustn't have been here for a while. I fixed my, my paintbrush was very crooked before. <laughs> and even though nobody else noticed, I noticed all the time. So I got somebody to like paint up my arm and it, she did such a good job. It literally looks like exactly like paint. And now you don't notice it's as crooked as it is. I love it. And the hickeys are gone, Ashlyn. I literally had to tell my masseuse that today. That I was like, everyone on my live stream thought I had hickeys. But I have a Cairo appointment tomorrow, so I'm gonna have them again. Guys, when my back and body is as messed up as mine, you need to just scrape it out sometime. What did, my girlfriend Michelle was in here last time. She, it's like Graston, I think it's called. But how is that guys? See how the blue is like blending into this color. So they're looking like, once we add darker trees in front, they're gonna look like they're so far away. But I'm pressing lightly. I'm not be treating the trees precious. Because this is something like I, every time I teach people to do trees, I always get a couple people who always take the time to go like perfect, 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 perfect. And then in the end, they just look like a bunch of symmetrical hand, or not hand, control, like machine made trees back to back. So that's what I mean. I want you to let go of that. Usually I'm like, paint how you want. But in this case, try not to, and usually it'll help. 
Okay. And as you guys are doing that, again, I'm always just in damage control in case people are having trouble at home with something. Don't forget that nothing's permanent. Like, if you are thinking that maybe you want to bump up these uh, clouds in the background, but we're on the next step and you feel like we can't anymore, what are you talking about? Go back in with white and some water, and you could also come, like, not also, and you can come back into these spots and brighten them up a little bit if you want. Like, if you're done your trees and you want to play with something else, like, you can do that. You don't have, this isn't, like, part, not everyone has to do this. I'm just trying to imagine if that was an issue for some people. Nothing's permanent. Just go through and just, like, add the same color that you were playing with before. Just try to avoid the new trees you painted a little bit. But even if you don't... It just pushes them back in the distance a little bit more if you, they have a little white layer on top. See that? Oh. We are going to be getting, like we're using a lot of white in this next step. We're gonna start placing the ground in. What time is it? 8.52. Okay, I think we're in good time, though. We're going to place the ground, and then we're going to splatter some snow around, because that's the best part. Splatter, right? Again, the music's getting a little, like, porny. <laughs> <laughs> One day, you guys, one day I'll make a good royalty-free playlist, I swear. You know when there's, like, something you need to do, but then you don't think about it until you need it in the moment? Like, I'm sitting down about to start paint night, and I'm like, yeah! I forgot! Okay. See, I just lighten up the back if you want to. You don't have to. You just hear elevator music. Hey, that too. That works too. It is pretty elevatory. So I'm not time-lapsing this one just because, again, like, it's not my original work, so I panic about that, um, to be honest. Not panic. I just don't... I hate, like, promoting a painting and people think that I did it. You know what I mean? No queen is allowed on the royalty free playlist. If we could rock out to queen the whole time, I would have the best day. That was so much fun about my streams before where I would, like, the playlist was the best part. I'll do more just like ch studio chills where we just hang out and I paint and you guys can jam to my music. Looking too fire like you're happy with the painting already? Bada boom, bada bing. Okay, how are we doing? Are you ready to move on to some snow? Oh, the sirens in the background. <laughs> it's looking too fire so the ambulance is coming. Whoop, whoop. It's the sound of that police. I know every stream you guys for sure hear a siren or two. I live right by the hospital downtown. <laughs> it's just what you want. Okay, Doki. I'm not getting any yays or nays. So I'm just going to continue. Again, preference rise. Use a medium um, paintbrush. I love square paintbrushes, but I know a lot of people don't. So I always use square paintbrushes, but again, like rounded. When I say rounded, like something like that. You want to play Mrs. Officer for Janimal on Christmas Day? <laughs> she would love that. Still here, shifted from cross-hatching to digital. Zero. Excited to see. All right, folks, we're taking that medium brush, whether it's pointed or square, or whatever you want. And we're going to go into white with a little bit of water on our brush. Oh, did you send it in? I haven't even checked, so you could, you potentially sent it. I, uh, oh, I see you in here. Yes! Okay, you guys, perfect. Let's uh, get this going here. Nailing it. 
doing great so far. Oh my gosh. Coming along so great. Okay, well, my confidence is back. You guys are doing great. <laughs> Sometimes I just panic. Like when I don't hear from you guys, I'm like, oh my God, am I doing it hard? And they're just hating me on the other side. Oh my gosh, I just remembered too. I haven't drank my coffee. Okay, we're getting white on our brush, on our medium sized brush um, with water on it. Uh, no, okay. And we're gonna start by deciding where we want that like crazy water pattern to go. And again, it can be, everyone's can be different. It doesn't have to be exact, exact. But I'm gonna just start by making a line as to where I imagine it to start, like the back of it, okay? We're painting like over all this. It's very okay if it's messy and it's gonna feel stressful making a line right through your painting, but it's gonna be great, okay? And let's come on down and make another line. See that little, right? Breaking your heart, you can't paint this one line, but teething baby's not having it. Baby, let your mama paint, okay? Don't worry, like I said, sometimes it's nice for people to watch it be painted and then paint it yourself. All right, how about let's bring a line on down here? I don't know, there's another snowbank, sure. Remember, don't treat it precious. This is all gonna be painted over and you can paint it in whatever angle you want or whatever little snowbanks you want, whatever. How's that? That looks like some water or something. Let's do one more big guy. Uh, coming down here. Remember, just like O'Shea helped us out in the, minute, the beginning, water is your friend. That's why I'm able to pull this paint across so easily. And my paintbrush isn't getting like caught in all of the like cross hatching of the canvas. It's because water's on there. And see how it's going on like translucent? Like you can see the blue through it. Okay. Now, if you're ready, we are going to add like the tiniest touch of blue to our white. And blue's way more powerful than white, right? <laughs> that was hard for that. was like a tongue twister. So you don't want to put too much blue in there. Because we don't want the white to come off too much. Sorry, what did I just say? I literally just... My brain just went away. We don't want it to be too dark, but we do want it to be off white because we're gonna be putting pure white on top of it and it's gonna really pop. So we've added just a little touch of blue into our white. See already that you can kind of tell it's not pure white. If you can't, maybe add another touch of blue. Ashlyn's happy with how the auction's going, but wish your Christmas bonus came in earlier. I'm glad that it's like people are enjoying the auction option. I did like that I could open it up to a lot of other people. And I didn't know, like I didn't want it to go on forever. So like I thought maybe just a weekend, I don't know. Ilum, I like the layout by the way. Great setup, very clean and simple. Thank you. I know usually I'm a mess and there's a lot of things on the go. I'm a more is more type of a person but I'm learning that less is more is better. Okay, see that? It's, I'm painting this very lightly, you guys. Like I'm going left to right. I'm not going up and down. I'm being very conscious that it's like snow banks. Like I want to imply that these are just big snow banks. And we don't have to come all the way up to this back line that we drew. 
the higher up we go, you can add a little more water to your brush and kind of buff it out so it blends into the top. You think your baby listened to me, Taylor's a baby whisperer? Hey, it has happened many times on a paint night where moms have sent me videos of their babies just like watching me. I think it's my like deep voice or something. I'll take it, hey, I'll take it. All right, coming left to right still. It's not a big deal if your edges are a little rougher because we're gonna start painting some trees in here, right? So like, it's really okay if you don't bring it all the way up. But again, I'm still only going left to right. I'm not changing up the direction to go north and south as well. Cause then it'll get a little messy and they won't look like the nice big smooth snow banks that we're kind of looking for. Okay. How are we liking just using blue, white, and black? Is it kind of a nice change up than having to stress about all the other colors? can hear Dan's rowing over there. We got a rower machine. And my soft little painter baby's hands aren't liking it very well. The blisters are real, you guys. And I was like Googling for like gloves. My chiropractor was like, you're gonna need gloves, girl. Your hands are child's hands. And like Googling online, like what are the best rowing gloves? It's all like, don't use gloves for rowing. Like deal with the blisters and make your hands tougher. Like it's all like people are very opposed to using gloves. <laughs> the sound of the paintbrush is so calming. I love that. Should I do some ASMR videos or what you guys? <laughs> And again, detailed wise, depending on how much detail you want to add in there, you can make it a little bit darker blue, like add a touch more blue to your white mixture that you just made and just kind of pull in a little bit of darker blue from the outside. See how the change from darker to lighter blue, not super necessary. The whisper of the brush across the canvas is like soft falling snow. I think I should, you should narrate the show, Allie. Same on this side, we can do the same thing. Pull in some of that darker blue if you want. We just have so many different levels of painters that come to these, like some are experienced, some have never painted before. So you can pick and choose what steps you want to do. I just bring a little darker in. Sure, how about down here too? Remember, you can keep adding more. Like you can paint flush to the edge if you want. I don't care. Layering. Layering is key. We're like, we don't have that much left, surprisingly. It's only nine. Woo! Okay. Also, did I say hello, Drapes? I just realized that you sent me a message in there. The Drapes sisters? Love having you. They brought their parents last time. It looked like it went well for everyone. I laughed, it was very relatable that I'm assuming it was your dad who like didn't want to be in the picture but held his painting. That's like my dad would be, I don't even think my dad would paint along, who are we kidding? <laughs> I didn't get, this painting gene from my parents, I tell you that. <laughs> hey, hey, hey! I love it! Shout out to the drapes. 
Oh, with a uni. Oh. I wasn't just calling you out so that you tipped me, but I appreciate that. <laughs> You'd have to get your dad so drunk. I love that. Oh, we love you. I love you too, Drapes. I remember the first time they came, they like made a party of the night and I wanted to be a part of the party. Looked like a good time. They had hors d'oeuvres for paint night. Jealous. Okay, I just took a little bit of blackout onto my palette while I wait for you guys just to finish those banks. We are going to, do you guys want to splatter? This is your question. I mean, your call. Should we splatter right now? So that it's just kind of snowy in the distance or would you like us to splatter on top of the tree so that like the whole scene is snowy does that make sense y'all decide y'all decide why not both or near snow or background would look cool further snow <laughs> okay oh you put them on there to vote right thanks justin i thought you were just like i like them both <laughs> I was like, thanks for nothing. Further snow or near the snow? Realistically, I probably should, I should teach the further snow and then if you want to do near snow, you already know how. And it looks like more votes for further anyway. Well, I'll be, okay. Bam, boom, we're all happy. Working on the fly here. Okay, let's get... If you have a paintbrush, a, a paintbrush, sorry, a toothbrush, <laughs> if you have a paintbrush, bring it. Um, if you have a toothbrush, I can teach you guys how to use a toothbrush. It is, um, that's always fun too. But I will also teach paintbrush first because I know not everyone just has a paintbrush kicking around or wants to use an old one like I do. It's <laughs> fine. <laughs> I would suggest against the square brushes that I've been using the whole time. Um, did I say paintbrush again? <laughs> okay, you guys know what I mean. Paintbrush or toothbrush, okay? I'll teach paintbrush first. Get a pointed one. <laughs> Sorry, just let me collect my thoughts for a second. Yeah, if you use the, paint, the toothbrush that you're using, never brush your teeth with it again. But I don't see why. Who cares if you used it and you used it on your... There's... Then it's really, truly your painting. Part of you is there. Okay, so use a pointed paintbrush. I would suggest not using the square ones to do splatter. Um, these ones just have better... <laughs> I don't know what I'm trying to say, okay? Um, I literally was about to say buoyancy. <laughs> not right. Let's do it. We are going... Flexibility. Like a hockey stick to... Like, yeah, we're good. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get your paintbrush wet. Sorry, I just chugged that coffee and I got wild, apparently. You're gonna dip your paintbrush in your water and like scoop a bunch of water with your brush onto your palette. And you're gonna grab just like a smidgen of white, just a little bit of white. We want way more water than paint in this little concoction we're making right now. And you want that concoction to be like chocolate milk consistency by adding a little bit of paint and a bunch of water. You regulars know the drill. Uh, maybe I should just show you this spot here. Oh, you can't even see it because it's white on white. Um, usually it helps a good way to know if it's a good consistency. Do you see that bubble forming at the bottom of the paintbrush and it's about to fall? It's just loading. Come on. Okay, so mine's not dry. I need to add a little bit more water in there. And see this little bee? Do you see it forming? It's gonna fall. Can you just, yeah, there we go. That's how you know it's a good consistency when that bead forms and it falls by itself. Maybe a little bit of a whoop. You give a little tap to let off some extra. And I always say like a hangs loose. I have child size hands, but whatever, a hangs loose away. And I flick the actual paintbrush. I found out not very long ago that I never told people that specifically and they were flicking the brush itself, but I flick the actual paintbrush just lightly as I'm moving along the page here. Do, do, do. 
if you don't want to get messy because some people don't like getting messy when they paint and that's fine make sure you don't have anything around i probably would put some like newspaper or something i have also got memos where people are like there's paint everywhere so be conscious that it can be messy if you don't want to get your finger messy you can also smack your paintbrush with another paintbrush so this is the one that you've got loaded with your watercolory chocolate milky paint and then you just lightly tap 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 close to the top of your paintbrush you always pull the brush back like a little catapult oh you can that could work too yeah i flick it from behind you can catapult it no wonder i have paint everywhere okay so i've obviously been teaching it terribly um justin's right ttc is not responsible for paint splatter in your home okay like i'll bring that close can you like kind of see like see how some are different sizes i want to try to achieve something that might happen <laughs> these techniques i know i'm a real great teacher over here okay real professional so I want to try to show you what it looks like if your consistency is too thick. Um, wow, still didn't do it. There's sometimes where it looks like almost lines, like you won't get dots, you'll get lines. I, I don't know. Okay, I don't know how to do it. We've all we've got a couple catapulters in here. Hey, that's hey, that's fun too, though, right? I love that. Sorry, I've led you guys astray for years. You toothbrushers. It's your average old toothbrush. You want your consistency to be a little bit more watery than the chocolate milk. And you literally just like, look what I'm doing here. I'm just like basically brushing my palette. And again, it's always good to do a couple tap taps. And then I like shoot this like, I don't know, I always say like a gun. But I don't know if that's really gun-like. But it's way more controllable and smaller um, splatter when you use a paintbrush. A little bit less messy because you can literally like, oh, I want it to go right here. Like, perfect. Right? You'll get messy on your hand, I guess. But And see, like, go over your back trees a little bit. Like, see, now that we have all that, like, snow in there, like, on top of, like, this one, for example... Like, it just helps the eye push it back away in the distance. Like, go back there. How's that? If you want, you can splatter down at the bottom too, but whatever. We, It's up to you guys in the end if you want to put the spatter on there. Spatter? Splatter? Whatever. But just like Justin's saying at the bottom there, that is a very important, like, design tip or tool that you can use in any painting that you do. Always decide if you want the foreground to be darker or lighter and the background be opposite. Like you can't have the same values on both sides. If you want something to appear the closest, then decide that the dark will be close. So that's why the water is going to be the darkest. These trees are going to be the darkest because those we want our eyes to be like, oh, that's closest to us. And then the lighter we go and ending with literally pure white almost in the background, that's far, that's the background, that's far away. And that's helping people acknowledge distance in your painting. And you can use that with anything. Like if you're painting like apples and oranges in a bowl, um, you, whatever's closer, you would want to choose what value you decide and keep that consistent throughout the rest of the painting. So I got a question, how do you make the snow drifts look deep or depth looking? So they're not, the snow drifts aren't done yet. So we wanted just to keep this darker blue at the moment. And the very last step is we're gonna just slob on some pure white on some top parts of these. And that's gonna help us show um, also space again in the, um, not space, also show shape. It's kind of confusing because here I was just talking about like the darker is foreground, but we're also working with snow, which is white. So this is going to be pure white. <laughs> but you know, what can you do? How's that? How's the splatter game? If you guys are someone who likes spl <laughs> glitter is what I meant to say. When you splatter and your paint's wet, you can literally put some glitter on top and they'll go into the specks and make like glittery snow. Also, oh my gosh, look at that snowball. Allie, a thank you. 
I've never seen that one yet. Caffeine launched some new winter themed <laughs> props. Sorry. <laughs> My brain just went. Ooh. All right. Are we ready to paint some of those trees? So we're going to be very touchy, you guys. Remember that black is a very powerful pigment. It will take up every color you use. Um, we want to darken our blue up a little bit, but we don't want it to be just pure black. And it's very possible to put like a tiny bit of black and all of a sudden your blue will be just black. So when I say a smidgen, I mean a smidgen of black. <laughs> We're gonna be still using a like thin brush, whatever you use to make these trees in the background. Or once I tell you, we can start using this one as well. 2% black, exactly. Justin, the designer can get those points down. We're gonna get a big chunk of our blue and let's add like, it's gonna be hard for me to show you, but like, can you even see that? No, you can't. There's just the tiniest touch of black on top because we want it to be darker than what we were working with before, but we don't want it to be pure black because we wanna keep some color and life in there. And then we're basically gonna, basically, wow, was that Taylor? Basically going to do exactly what we did for those trees in the background. So we're just gonna start with our trunks, like where we want these to go. Like, let's say we'll put one right here. Remember water's your friend if you need. Oh, here's a prime example. My brush wasn't loaded enough and now I can show you close. See how halfway down that line it gets sandpapery, see? I wanted it to be this color all the way through, but since I didn't have water on my brush, I didn't pull the paint across, but it's not a problem. You just get your paintbrush wet and you can kind of go through the same thing again. I guess, hey, that's true. Style wise, that does kind of look like a trunk anyway. It does look like trunk texture. Hey, use it if you want. And then at the bottom of this trunk, let's just make a line. Like it's gonna feel odd, but we're gonna just draw a curved little, like we're making another snowbank basically, right? Okay, we got a tree there. How about let's put another tree? Wow, I'm looking at this from the hard side. Oh, this is my favorite tree. I don't want to cover him. Okay, I'm gonna go right beside it here. This one's gonna be a little bit taller. Bring all that down. You see, I'm still using my pinky. Some of you might, like some people wanna use rulers. You can use a ruler as long as you make sure everything's dry before you go in there with it. Let's put another one right here. Oops. And then I kind of feel like this tree is kind of like our focal point almost, like one of the main things we wanna look at. Let's make this big tray. Oops. <laughs> that was supposed to be straight, but that's fine. It's a tree. Let's bring that one all the way up. Check that out. Literally was trying to find a digital brush for 10 minutes. See, that's like the main reason why I can't do digital paintings because I know how to do it all traditionally in a second, right? But when I get digital, it's like, how to do it or I don't know how to find the brush or I like it takes like so much longer you know but you can make amazing things with digital work that's that's fair let's just go like another I forgot to add these little lines under our trees these ones are kind of equal you sent who some me Zero? <laughs> Justin, saving the day for everyone. Okay, and even after we've got those trunks down, we're gonna acknowledge where we're gonna put these little bushes of things. Let's make a line coming up a little bit right here. Water's your friend, add some water in there. 
Let's make another little bush line right there. And another little bush line right there. And remember, use your pressure. Like when I just made that line, I was pushing hard so every bristle was on it all the way through. And as I came to the end, I lifted a little bit and made the line thin. Right? Brush pressure and brush control is something that you have to just do and do and do. And it'll get more comfortable and more understandable as you go. Understandable, understood, eh. Pick up what I'm laying down. Nerdy bales. Coming in hot with the little pangu. Thanks. I love that it does a little hat flip. Hello, how are you? How's it going? Welcome to the Studes. It's been a while. I feel like last time I saw you, I was just epically failing in the technology department as usual. Oh, I haven't seen this one either. What's in the present? A gingerbread man. Oh, thanks. Okay. Before we start painting those trees, we're going to darken up this water of ours. Now oh, you're painting like a boss with the snowball prop. Ah, oh, thanks, nerdy. I know I just, I know you're not nerdy balls, but that's all I can think when I see your name. <laughs> like I literally have to be like Bales. Taylor, it's Bales. Bales. All right, when we get into our water, we're using that same blue black that we've just been using, but you might want to add like a tiny touch of black, another tiny, maybe a 1% more black in your blue. Okay. And I'm using just a little bit bigger of a brush, not the super thin water, of course, and being conscious of your brush strokes. We are, sh oh, tasty tulip, shmallow. Good to see you. Always nice to see that username sneaking in here. Um, we're using that black blue. And we are going just left to right, conscious of our brush strokes, because we want it to be nice, smooth water. And we want water on our brush so that some of the color is going on translucent, translucently? Uh, is that the right word we're looking for? And like I always say, like, we don't want to cover up our work from before. So like our work is the blue that we put down at the start. So see how it's still peeking through. Like little bits of the base color, um, blue that we were using is still popping through just to kind of keep that look of like water to add. It's always nice to have different values and different um, brush strokes just to show texture and such and see the more water you add in the more translucent it'll be okay wait i just missed some things here what a beauty scene thank you tasty tulip of course i'm not take i can't take credit for the one that we're copying but it's gonna be pretty and who else mustard tigers in here hey kenzie um uh, hello kenzie good to see you funny joke <laughs> And then we're asking about, are we going to be painting on Chris? Oh my gosh, the next couple Thursdays is Christmas Eve and New Year's Eve. I haven't thought that far ahead. Maybe I'll do like something during the day on New Year's Eve. But Christmas Eve, probably not. I won't lie to you. Christmas Eve is one side of our family that's our Christmas day. Like Dan's side of the family we celebrate on Christmas Eve. And my side of the family, we celebrate on Christmas Day. Bring back to Day Tuesday. <laughs> I know, you guys. I just, Christmas is a crazy time of year for me. Tuesdays, we'll be back at some point. My goal is to stream more in the end, but I just have a lot of my life, like work life to resolve and finish and complete before that can be my consistency but that's fine that's we'll get there 
Sorry I'm late, I was starting drama on TikTok. Was it with Jim Carrey? <laughs> He's not wrong. Um, okay. See how that just darkened up our water a little bit? It's still like kind of messy and crazy, but it's nice. Kenzie, I just got your text. I love it. We'll talk about it soon. Um, how are we feeling about just getting onto those trees? Because that's basically the last step, right? And like I said, we can be using this paintbrush or this one or both even if you want to. <laughs> I'm just getting text messages. I just can't. I don't have a poker face. Okay. Let's go back into the blue and black. And let's start making some of these trees. The only difference about these trees versus the trees in the back, the trees in the back, we only went left to right. These ones are, we're going to go left to right. We're going to start that way for sure. Like here we are just kind of being inconsistent left to right. But you're also going to pull some of them up and down. Here, I'll show you when I get to one. Remember, be inconsistent of the direction. Some are, remember, for the dry years, maybe they're short. Just like Justin said. I'm using the blue with black inside. All right. Being conscious that it's getting way bigger when it gets to the bottom. Inconsistently bigger, but by the end, it'll reach all the way to the bottom. So it's basically exactly what we did on the other trees. Right? You want this to be pretty opaque, so you don't want too much water in there. A little to help you pull it around, but you want more paint than water so that it goes on nice and thick and dark. Okay, and then what I mean by we're going to go up and down a little bit, let's see if I can do it like this. We are just going to add a couple, see how I'm going, oh, am I even on the screen? See how I'm just pulling a couple lines kind of up as well, just making it kind of look like it's like fuzzy a little bit. Again, like inconsistent, it doesn't have to be the same on all sides, but just adding a little bit more detail to make it look a little bit more, <laughs> more like a tree. <laughs> Justin, thick, thick, or thick. Thick with two C's, not quite three, okay? Not quite three. But the reason that I said you can do it with that other brush is it's a big old conifer. <laughs> is I'm pretty sure if you use, again, not the whole brush, but I would take like that color that you're using on one fur, fu one fur, fur edge. <laughs> one of the edges of it. And it'll be the same, like you would do that direction. I'm going left and right, but I'm doing them both at the same time. So instead of doing them lined and then coming back across and doing it up and down, as you're going left to right, you're also going up and down. Does that make sense? Do you see, since it's this like nice bristly brush, as I'm going left and right, I'm also bringing my brush up and down. I have to have put more paint on there, but. This reminds me of the scene in Harry Potter when he finds the sword. <laughs> There's a TikTok that a girl, it's like how I'm going to teach my kids the ABCs. And it's like, hey, I like it all, or whatever. And she like does all the, like all of the, what you call them? Have you seen it? Anyone? Anyone? All the spells? L for Leviosa. D for diagonally. Huh? Anyone? She doesn't get all the way to the end. It's just a TikTok, so. Timed out. Okay, yeah, I think I saw Justin say earlier, does anyone have any questions with the painting so far? Because today's been a crazy day, you guys. You're just pros, apparently, just painting up a storm over there. 
know what you're doing, don't have any questions or concerns. I respect that. But again, be conscious of it being inconsistent. If you're finding it blending in to the background too much, maybe you need to add more black to your blue. That's okay. Oh my gosh. You saw a brush like that in Sephora and was confusion. Yeah, I, uh, I think I, please correct me if I'm wrong, women who wear makeup, because I don't. I think it's highlighter. That like, right? Is that how you just like dust the highlighter there with one of those things? Landscapes are making a comeback. Hey, I know I'm not really, usually I struggle teaching you guys landscapes, but I think today's doing okay. So what you're saying is using your fingers wrong. Yeah, girl, I use my finger too. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Ashlyn has confirmed though that that is correct. Yes, fan brush is for the highlighter. There we go. Kenzie, we were kind of right. We do learn a lot here in Tay Tay Studio. We do. Not only how to paint, lots of other things. We learned that, um, we learned that otters are actually not nice. Right? They're actually vagrants of the sea. I think somebody called them once on here. Trusting the process. Hey, that's that's true. I'm just going back to paintbrush or fan brush. Like, I don't know. You guys let me know if you want to learn one. Schlob. Everybody learn schlob here. <laughs> Um, you can Google schlob and you will see that it means exactly what I've told you <laughs> on Urban Dictionary. <laughs> have I done an otter painting? Yes, actually, I've done a couple. I unfortunately don't think I have prints of them, but I have done a couple little cuties, sea otters. I love them. We did learn that you wine goes bad and you can't drink it after three years of it being open. <laughs> Ashlyn. <laughs> We've had quite a few Americans learn a lot about our Canadian policies. <laughs> yeah, Justin's gonna vomit at the thought of that. You weren't there the day that we learned that for Ashlyn. It's okay. <laughs> Ashlyn had a bottle of wine that she, she had opened and before she get, like, it was open before she gave birth to her baby. And then finally she had like a night to do a paint night with us and she wanted to have a drink and she opened and she had that one. And she's like, didn't taste great. And we're like, girl, I don't, I don't think you could, should have drank that. <laughs> I think you threw it out, right, Ashley? I think, or Ashley, I think you threw it out. <laughs> oh, that was good. I didn't know, I knew it went bad. I don't know how, I didn't know how long. I'm not a, we drink boxes of wine. So the box you can have for quite a long time. Look, here's Justin. Three days for red, refrigerated, and opened. <laughs> so it was quite overdue. It was quite overdue. Okay, I just got a picture sent. Somebody, like, finished her trees already. Look at me just gabbing away here. Realistically, if you're... Okay, if you're done your trees, all you really have to do is when you come to these little lines we made, same thing, like just make some little tufts of like, I was gonna say hair, it's not hair. But see little tufts of like grass or like a bush on top of that little line that we made, see that? If you have done your trees already, keep going on your trees if you haven't. Cause what time is it? 9.30, we good, we good. Yeah, Ashlyn, yeah, that's true. We've taught Americans that our Thanksgiving is on a different day. The right day. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I learned about, what did you call it? What was it? Hash brown casserole? Never heard of hash brown casserole. I don't know if it's an American thing or not, but I didn't know about it. 
ETF, you've never had it? What? What, what, what? Oh, it's your fave. Oh, you mean like, oh, you've... Okay, so it's not an American thing. It's just, I don't know shit. <laughs> oh, and Kenzie puts eggnog. What does she do? What does she do? She puts um, ginger ale in um, eggnog. And apparently it's delicious, and I don't know how I feel about that. I haven't tried it yet, truthfully. I learned about ringette through paint night. Yeah. Yeah, you did. A lot of people have. <laughs> Which is great, because a lot of people don't know about it, so that's funny. Um, what else do we got? How are our trees going, everybody? You can even just kind of flail some lines out on the side, like the little grassy. Sounds like a delivery is in my future. Kenzie, girl. Your trees are happy! Yay! I'll bring them close again, like... When you look at it close, like, what is that? Right? I do very, like, highly recommend step back from your painting every once in a while and look at it from far away, and then you'll be like, oh, wow, I actually know what I'm doing, and it looks great. Okay? Because I can tell you guys a very funny story <laughs> about art school and about getting stuck in a painting and being kind of blinded. Um don't like <laughs> it's always good to like ask people if something looks like what you think it does as well like to get an outsider's opinion like that's okay because there was a project in school that we had to play with color like um we needed to play with a certain type of a color scheme and make some shapes and whatever and I thought like oh it'd be so cool to do like I went above and beyond and did like a microphone with these big headphones over top of it because like at the time my boyfriend was getting into music so I had all of this stuff kicking around to do a still life out of and I spent hours on this thing and I painted it to perfection and it was beautiful and clean and perfect but I didn't ask anybody about it I was just like this is great I'm in the mode I'm in the zone and it's perfect Roberto yeah hey good call Svengali's good call um Roberto no actually <laughs> I'm just kidding I don't, I literally have no idea what he's doing with his life right now. He can be, maybe he's back to Roberto. My family calls him Roberto now. Um, we, whatever, I worked on this piece. I think it took me like 40 hours in total for this project in school. And in art school, when your projects do, you have to be in class. Um, at nine on the dot, your work has to be up on the board, like ready for everyone, like finished, mounted, ready for everyone to see. And if you're late, like you fail. And if it's not good, you literally have to stand there and everybody has to say something about it, whether it's good or bad. And like, they like rip it apart and whatever. And here I was like, so proud of this thing. I put it up, I'm like looking at it from my desk, like bitch nailed it. Like I'm gonna get an A. And then I talked about it for a bit and I went and it's like, everyone's like, well, it was their time for everybody to say what they thought about it. And everyone was quiet for a bit. And then somebody was like, I'm so sorry, Taylor, but it just, it looks like a penis <laughs> because of the microphone with the headphones around it. It literally just looked like I painted like a big, colorful, not nice picture <laughs> that I spent hours and hours and hours on. And if I just asked somebody at one point in the process being like what do you think how does it look or like stepped back and just like detached myself from it I would have known that I was just drawing a big phallic image <laughs> so in the end that was my one lesson like never again have I made that mistake ever <laughs> Meg Drake spit out her wine <laughs> sorry <laughs> sorry not sorry but guys that's those are the lessons you learn in art school okay <laughs> thanks nerdy bales coming in with the props thanks you guys <laughs> so that's how I learned that lesson the hard way okay 
I think I still, Justin, you probably saw it. You weren't in my class because it was an illustration class, but you probably saw the picture. The microphone with the headphones that looked like a penis. It was Matt, um, like Grandpa Matt, who pointed it out to the class and I was just so sad. And then the teacher was like, oh yeah, girl, yeah, it, that's exactly what it looks like. <laughs> and everyone just agreed and I was like, eh. you just wanted me to say it again? You little dick. <laughs> Literally. Anyway. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just like not teaching you how to paint. I'm just messing away over here. I'm still using that blue and black. <laughs> You can make like little cattails if you want. You can bring out those little lines. Look, we can come over here too and make that a little bit more. And that's why Tay's plus 17. Yeah, because I have an unpredictable mouth and we never know where the direction of the story is going to go. <laughs> it's funny because not, not many kids do them, but there's like a couple families of kids that do my paint nights often and their parents, they just, they know. <laughs> they don't get extremely inappropriate, but just small doses of inappropriateness, which is totally acceptable if you ask me. <laughs> okay. Now, everybody. We are basically done, but we're gonna put that white on the snow banks to pop them out a little bit more. Oh, over here too. Make this big bush over here. The day with the pig's foot. <laughs> yeah, that was actually a good one too. We were painting a pig, like a cute little cartoon pig and his hands were just like over the fence. And I'm like, someone's like, can you teach the foot again? So I like took out a piece of paper to like properly teach how to paint this pig foot. And then like once it was too late, once it was too late, cause I already drew it. I literally just like taught everybody how to draw like a cartoon penis. <laughs> and I was like, and then you make this line. And I just like looked at it for a second. And I was like, <laughs> and <I ticked> up. <laughs> yeah, that I could cry laughing at that. That was a good one. Thanks for still sticking it out with me, everybody. <laughs> I did, I think I saved it. But if it's on YouTube now, people can go back and just see it and that's fine. But, um, oh, that was a good one. Ashton, that's a good memory. <laughs> one day I'll just make a, what you call it, greatest moments of all of our recordings. Okay, how's that so far? We've got the tree. I'm just going to make it a little darker right there. We've got our trees. We've got the water. Now, really, the only part is making that snow white. Not snow white, but making the snow white, okay? I would also suggest maybe change your water right now. It's probably very blue, and it will affect your paint. Your pure white paint, it'll give it a blue tinge, and that's annoying. So I would suggest changing your water if you want. You can use, again, a medium-sized pointed. I'm probably going to use a square one. Back to preference. Guys, next week I'm going to have my... I'm shaving the back of my head. Hold me to it. If it still looks like this next week, sue me. <laughs> I only notice when I'm on here, I'm always like, oh, my rat tail's back. <laughs> okay, we're going to get that pure white out. We're going to start with a good chunk of paint on there. Um, not too much water at first because we want to get that pure white on there nice and opaque first. And let's just pick one spot like, oh, there's a nice little snowbank. And look already, just like adding that white on there, just like, bumps it out huge um and then wipe off that brush of yours and come to that bottom edge with a clean brush and just lightly buff out the bottom a little bit to kind of smooth that line what do you use to repaint over canvases gesso yeah usually gesso or you could use white paint if you want it's just like you it's that's a pretty expensive way to do it i would suggest gesso 
Um, what is something that art school taught me that I completely disagree with? <laughs> A few things. One is planning. <laughs> no, that's not, okay. So when you are in design school, cause I'm in design art school, it wasn't just art school, it was design. You need to like plan and prep everything. So you like plan a drawing, you draw like a hundred thumb, like literally to do a project, you would plan a hundred different doodles and you try a hundred different ways of drawing this thing that you want to draw. And then you'd pick like six of those and you draw them better. And then you pick two of those and you draw them better. And you pick one of those and that's your final. But now you have the final and it's not ready yet because now you have to do value studies. Like you want to see where your darks and your lights are going to go. And then you have to do color studies. And you have to do like a bunch of different types. And it's good at the time when you're learning because you need to learn all that stuff. So you do it repetitively and it's great. But I learned that I fucking hate planning. So now I know, like, I have the knowledge of, like, value and color and shape and stuff because it was for five years jammed in my head like that. But I don't, I don't like to do that plan process. I like to just apply it onto the canvas as I'm working. I had to do all that stuff to learn and know what I was doing. But some people love the process of, like, planning and prep, and I, no, I hate it. It takes up too much time. I like to solve the problems on the canvas and see what happens and work it out. Um, and the other thing that they try to teach you in art school that I think is a little different now, which is fine, that I just hate it, is they try to make you do one thing. Like, it's very suggested to be like, find a specialty, be good in that, paint that one thing, and then people will know you for that thing. For example, like, there's a girl who paints, like, beautiful women who've, like, I think, mostly, I think they're all just beautiful, famous women who have commit suicide, but that is her thing. That's all she paints and that's what she wants to paint. And that is her thing. So people know if they want that, that's who they go to. Or like my teacher, one of my favorite teachers from school, bless his soul. He is like, he ended up being like the fish guy. Yeah. Justin just said, he's the fish guy. He paints only fish, beautifully realistic, exact fish replicas. And he does that for like hunting magazines and stuff like that. But that's his shtick. Like he's the fish guy. And I struggled with that in school because I like to paint everything and do everything. And I was always trying to be pushed into like pick something. And I don't like that or believe in that because it drives me crazy to paint the same thing all the time. I'm like why, if I can paint other things, why wouldn't I? And then I left school and I painted everything. I did portraits, I did pets, I do abstracts here and there, whatever. Um, I don't like to be put in a box. Yeah, exactly. Don't ever tell me how to party. <laughs> And realistically, I think that that has worked in my favor because now people are like, she can paint anything. So why, it doesn't matter. That's, I think that's better. So, and I have fun. I get to like paint different stuff and like, so those are two of the big things that I like in school was like, meh, no. But again, I loved, I loved art school and it was the best. And I just, it's, I miss it every day, <laughs> but those are the things that I learned in there. Okay. So I'm still doing the same thing, right? We've got some thicker paint on top and it kind of blends in. We can just on the bottom here, like make a pure white line just across where it hits the water. Same on this side. Like, let's just make a little like icicle. Well, when you're dating, you can do everything like when you... Okay, I literally just had this conversation with Kenzie and I don't mean to be like an asshole about this So don't think that I'm going off this way But I honestly just like it it has been a very recent thing for me realizing that it's not normal For artists to paint anything or be able to like for me. I'm like, oh if you can draw that thing Why can't you draw that thing like it doesn't make sense to me in my head? I just thought like oh you're not actually gonna paint anything and it was naive of me <laughs> and now I'm understanding that I'm very lucky that I can do the things that I do. So I'll take it. <laughs> but Kenzie was like, uh, idiot. No, not everyone can paint everything. But in my head, I was just like, what, what, what do you mean? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, okay. So when we get into the back here, I'm using still br like my brush with a little bit of white on it. But it's more water because I just want to brush it lightly. Like it's going back into the distance a little bit. We want to show that dark blue peeking out there. But I'm just lightly brushing on. Like you can maybe wipe off some excess white onto your uh, paper towel. 
But see how I'm just lightly sneaking in some translucent paint a little bit in there to make those snow drifts and see how we kept it darker on the outside. It's lighter on the inside. Oh, Grunge Mania, sorry, I saw your comment. Hi, I forgot I was paint night, but I did three on YouTube this week. Girl! I'm gonna check. I'm assuming you sent them to me in my DMs. I'll check them. Um, I love that. Love that you guys use the YouTube videos. That's a dream. I'm just kind of pick picking away. Um, one other thing. Again, remember, you can splatter now if you want. Or don't. Well, that's up to you. But one thing for sure that I would add into these nice little bushes that we've made in the front. With pure white on your brush, we're not worried about it being translucent or watery or whatever. Like, make a couple, like, little spots. Maybe a couple lines at the top. Just a little dimension there, like, oh, maybe it's a little cattail that got a little white puff on it. I'll bring it closer so you guys can see. Like, see, it's, again, no, like, rhyme or reason or anything. When you look at it closer, like, hey, well, that looks like nothing. But from far away, it just kind of implies that some snow has fallen on some of the pieces of that little bush over there. Same on this side, why not just make a couple, play with different values or sharpness or thickness of the lines. But see how that just kind of pops it up a little bit? Tay needs to start grading her paintings. I need harsh advice. Guys, I ain't good at that. Everyone does good and I'm proud of everyone. <laughs> I wasn't made to harshly critique. <laughs> Your guys' is painting to this free class that you come to. <laughs> like, like, that's not right. When we get further into the distance, you can kind of use a little more water on your brush to make them a little more translucent -y. How about some little... Oh, no, for sure. All, all, as an actual art teacher, you should go in on the students because that's how you learn right um not like hard like a full asshole about it but you do need to learn um so you can't just be told like you're amazing at everything you do because that doesn't help either but i'm not a real art teacher you guys <laughs> sorry <laughs> okay how are we feeling about this Oh, we've got a freestyle in there. Okay, you guys can start um, sending in photos if you want. Ooh, pretty. Um, I'm going to splatter a little bit more here just while that's happening. You can make more trees. You can make bigger trees. Yeah, Justin has a good... So, again, we both went to the same, like, art college. I call it art school, whatever it works. Um, but I am an illustrator, and Justin is a, like, advertiser designer. So they're two very different... Like, I draw and he designs. Those are very different things. Um, but when you go to art school, you have to do everything at the start. Like, you have to draw and, like, learn everything. And that same teacher I was telling you guys about that was my favorite, the fish guy. <laughs> Critiqued one of Justin's drawings exactly like how he said. It's not bad, but it's not good. <laughs> but in the end, who cares? It's not like he has to draw. Like, it's not like drawing is part of your job description. Um, okay, it's definitely a winner. If I didn't love my job, I would totally go to art school. It sounds so fun. Art school was, it's stressful, but it's fine. If you're in design, like, say goodbye to your life for five years. Um, you won't, like, I didn't go snowboarding. I didn't go on vacations. It was like, you are working on projects all the time. But that trained me into being the artist I am now and being able to work for myself and being able to work every day and hustle and crush work at all. Um, I love art school. It was literally the best. I don't feel like my portfolio would ever be good enough. Hey, you'd be surprised. The, not to like, not to say you're not good, but I'm just saying that like, especially our art school, like, and it's very easy to get into it. 
<clears throat> because the amount of people who stay is very low. So everybody, like so many people come in, come in, come in, and then you learn. Like, and then once you're in there, if you actually want to learn these things, you get better once you're in. If you guys saw the portfolio that I got into art school with, not the portfolio to get into design, but the portfolio to get into ACAD with, it's not good. It's not good. Kenzie too, yeah, exactly. Like, it's not good. Hair school is similar. The amount of people that finish and then actually do hair is low. Hey, same with art school. 100% same with art school. 100%. Oh my gosh, Grunge Mania. Love the... Oh, the Olaf! And the gizmo turned out great, too! Okay, I'll show you guys some... Let's see, let's see. Where's my Instagram picture handle? Let's just try to make it... a little bit bigger... Look at that one! Wait, let me make this big, big, big. Come on. Look at that. Sorry, your name is visible. I don't know why it's not letting me do it like I usually do. There we go. Doing great. Oh, yours is coming in from Justin. Um. Let's see who else we've got. Oh, this was halfway through. Yours wasn't finished yet, but... Oh, no. Did you... Oh, yeah. Oh, I, I only saw this one before. Okay, love. Ooh, I like your trees. What else do we got in here? Justin, you're better than some of the kids we graduated with, but that's none of my business. Okay. Oh, it's sideways, but can you guys see it? Okay, love that. Oh my gosh, you guys, you did good. Okay, Justin sent it to me. Let me refresh here. Oh, just kidding. Justin, Justin, you have to send it to me. I lied to you. My computer's having a mental breakdown, as usual. Just, uh, let's see here. Let's see here. Sometimes there's ones in... Grunge Mania has a question. Go for it. It is best to lacquer paintings and leave them draw, law, uh, raw. Um, tough question. It's best to give them a varnish, yes. They can fade and get dirty. They can. Um, it's just, oh, it's so beautiful. Are you happy with your snowbanks now? Because I know you're asking about the snowbanks. I think they look good, but let me know if you think they need something different. Um, one of your you, varnishing is very helpful. It's so crazy because for the first couple years of my career, I didn't know and I didn't varnish paintings. But now, yes, I do varnish every single one of them. But varnishing is dangerous and scary sometimes. I'm not going to lie to you. You have to make sure your painting has been dry for longer than you think it should be. And you have to put very thin, light layers on the start or else you'll, you can bleed the painting. Like the painting can get, like you can pull the paint. So it can be sketchy. But I would suggest for you to start, because your paintings are smaller, you can get a spray varnish from like Mona Lisa or something. Um, Final varnish, it's like a resin varnish. I can find, I'll send you a picture of it. And you can spray it and you do a couple layers. I just stopped spray varnishing mine because they're very big and sometimes it's hard to make sure that you don't get like streaks when it's large. But when it's something like this, it's a lot easier because in one arm swoop, you can go through the whole thing. And that makes sense. Okay, um, what am I looking at here? What am I looking at here? We've got beautiful. We've got Kenzie's. <laughs> Here's Kenzie's beautiful realistic tree. <laughs> beautiful scene. A beautiful blue tree. And then we've got zeros coming up. Are you kidding, Zero? You guys, 
This is the digital one that he did. Uh, that is actually very impressive. First time painting in Photoshop with a mouse and needs and didn't like, and he lost some of the, whatchamacallit, um, he missed some of the instruction because he was looking for a paintbrush. That's, I, you always think I just pump your tires, but I'm serious. That was a very good one for your first time. You should see what my first Photoshop painting looks like. Are you kidding? You've got an artistic eye in there, sir. Don't let anyone tell you other than that. Only one eye, not two, just one. Um, okay, I'm just gonna show you close up how this is looking and feeling. I'm like, that's pretty close to what we were looking at, right? This was a fun one. I'm actually confident. <laughs> Usually when I teach you guys paint night, uh, not paint, well, they're always paint nights. When I teach you guys landscapes, um, I usually suck at teaching them because I suck at painting them too. I won't lie to you. So I'm glad that that one worked out for all of us. I know that the drapes are still painting away. I can't stay super long. Oh, Justin, good call. Except for why did it send it sideways and skewed? Let me see. It looks... Justin, you should see what this picture looks like that you just sent. I can't show the class it when it's like we are sideways and the longest. We'll see if that comes up. I can't wait to do this one. Night, everyone. Yes, Tasty. I can't wait to see. Tag me in it when you post that one. Nurse Shea, but you don't suck at painting last episode. You're fantastic. You guys. I have, you all are the most supportive humans ever. I'm so grateful to have all of you around. Oh, here we go. Because you're always just so nice. Okay, this is great. So what Justin just shared with us to share with everybody is, do you remember how we talked about that one time that Justin and I showed up to an event dressed exactly the same by accident? Because that is... Look at his shirt. And look at my dress. And look at this jacket and my jacket. It was an event where I was live painting at and everybody thought that he was like my assistant and we like dressed him that way like my like magician's assistant. <laughs> was it Inspector Gadget Day? <laughs> oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Dying. Okay, that was funny. That was good. So we just had to share that. We've talked about that many times on the stream. Um, am I still thinking about selling pop sockets? Okay, actually, Kenzie noted, Ashlyn wants me to make pop sockets of the grizzly bear. And I feel like we talked about pop sockets one time and that we could get a mold for it or something. So maybe now that Kenzie said, Kenzie helps me make my products and stuff, you guys, she's the best. She's the brains behind the operation. Um, as well as Justin. And uh, now that she knows, I won't forget. <laughs> because I forget. Justin wants a tiny green sweater alien from Space Battles pop socket. <laughs> One day. One day. And baby yodes. Yeah. We can do that. We can do that. Oh my god. You guys. Another one. I could cry. Thanks. Hash brown casseroles for everyone. <laughs> I love that. Oh, you guys, you spoiled me today. Thank you. That was so kind. Salmon DoorDash, I think it's free rain there right now. I love that. You guys, how funny would that be if I just had, like, a take to ski spot on, like, skip the dishes? It's like, with your cheeseburger, do you want to print? <laughs> and Nurse actually finished on time today. I know, it seemed like today was a good one. Today was a good one. I'm proud of everybody. Everyone did good. I know I say that most of the time, but this, honestly, that was a good one. I didn't think it was going to take as long as it did, but here it is 10 o'clock. So that happened. Um... Today there can't be like a cool, the thumbnail can't be cool today, right? Like there's, 
It's just, I just have to smile. Because what? A tree pose. <gasps> okay, we'll wait here. So I should probably remove that. And make myself just a little bigger. Got any wood, says Kenzie. <laughs> Tonight was friggin' sweet. Can't wait to win all the paintings at the auction. Hey, Meg. Sweet angel. I'm glad you guys are excited about the auction. I was a little nervous. I've never done anything like this before, so... We'll see how she goes. I'm going to post a thing about it tonight just so everyone can see the website. Make your accounts. Remember, 32auctions.com slash Taytayski. That's the um, link to see. You can go see everything that's on the auction right now. Um, but the auction does not start until the 4th. I was going to say of July. It just felt right to say the 4th of July. But that's wrong. It's the 4th of December and I'm a Canadian. What is this? I'll be doing the auctioneer voice live. Uh, yeah, sorry, you're right. It's Thursday today. That's tomorrow. The auction starts tomorrow at 6 p.m. Mountain Time. <laughs> and it goes till Sunday. 5 p.m. PT, 8 p.m. ET. Respect. Okay, good call, Zero. You weren't here at the start. So I had a bunch of work that I painted for an art show that was supposed to be going on this weekend. And then it got cancelled a week ago. So I put all of the paintings up on an auction website. 32auctions.com slash Tatesky. And uh, you can see it now, all the stuff that's up. Um, and I'm going to be auctioning all of them to anybody, whoever wants. Anyone around the world can if you want. It starts on Friday. It'll be going until Sunday. 32auctions.com slash Tatesky. Justin's in the comments with the link. Amazing. Um, I'm so pumped that you guys all enjoy and are excited about it too, because I am too. Ashlyn wants Ratatouille. So funny because I literally decided I was painting Ratatouille and drew it out one day. And then um, Ashlyn, the next day, randomly, without even seeing that I painted it, was like, can we do a Ratatouille paint night? And I'm like, girl, I'm just, I painted him as we speak. But actually, I have it right here. How premium are my prices? Hey, well, since it's an auction, and since it was, they were all supposed to be in a show for um, under a hundred dollars. They all start at like fifty bucks. If nobody else votes on it, you could get it for fifty bucks. But the cost of them are on it. So this is the Ratatouille. Isn't he so cute? I don't know if I like. I don't know if I could teach it. I don't know if I could teach it, but I can try. Didn't I say Remy? What did I say? Remy and oh, well, the movie Ratatouille. He's Remy, and isn't he Linguini? Isn't that his name? Like something like that. So anyway. Um, but Zero, thank you for being interested. I'm excited. It's cool that uh, the paintings can get to more people than um, it would at just the show. Because the show would be just Calgary. So it's kind of cool that... Oh, I have to show the drapes picture, though, first of all. Wow, they turned out beautiful. Um, all of them will be made into prints. Don't worry, everybody. I'm making prints of all of them, but it's the prints won't be here before Christmas. Um, my goal, I'm aiming to give my Etsy a big revamp. I'm trying to play around with like getting free shipping and retiring some old prints and introducing new prints and kind of just giving a big revamp in the new year. So all these new paintings you guys have seen the last couple weeks, most of them are, the originals are available at the auction, but the prints will be coming in the new year, coming 2021. Yeah, Paint Night Season 2. Crazy. Kind of crazy to think about. Where we paint in bodily fluid. No. No. Not part of it. <laughs> Justin, oh. <laughs> so anyway, oh yeah, I'm showing the drapes, you guys, because obviously their masterpieces need to be seen as well. Check that out. They always have um, a, whatchamacallit, a, um... Uh, 
uh, why can't I think of the word? <laughs> a feature of one of the sisters is always in the photo and I love that. You guys did a great job too. Look at those snow banks. Everyone nailed it today, you guys. I'm so proud. We should stick more with these two colored ones. I feel like that's nice. So much fluffy snow. Yeah, the two colors. Well, one color with black and white. I feel like that's a that's a winner. Everyone did a great job. And here I am just gabbing away again for like an hour. Um, this is my thumbnail. Oh, no, this way. There we go. Done. One of those will work, right? Hold up some paper. That will be what? I love that I'm just your guys' puppet at this moment of the day. It's made from trees! <laughs> I just hold paper products. <laughs> You kill me. How about I fold it into a tree? Get the damn off. <laughs> Do I hold this brush because it's wood? <laughs> Dunder Mifflin enters the chat. You're like, talking about paper? Okay, anyway, I just impulsively turned this into a paper airplane. Did anyone else's dad make them cool paper airplanes when they were a kid? Or is it just because my dad's pilot? That, that that was his one skill. Where you put like pennies in the paper airplanes in the front to give it some weight? Or you like cut the back flap so that the plane like flies like this? Yeah, guys, it was... Yeah, if you put a little bit of weight in the front, usually a penny, if you glue into the front. I know, do we have pennies anymore? I don't think we have pennies now either. Pennies are dead, right? I think pennies are dead up here. Guys, confirm, Canadians confirm with for me. We don't have pennies anymore, right? Yeah, Canada doesn't have pennies anymore. They gone. Bye. We used to have pennies, but we got rid of them. <laughs> I know. And our money is colorful and beautiful and can go in the dishwasher and doesn't all look the same like your guys' money. <laughs> I just like shit talk America every time I'm on here. <laughs> I love you, America. <laughs> yeah, I think I have a 20 right here. You guys, like, like, look at that. There, you can see right through it. That's clean. It like literally can go in the dishwasher because it, or not the dish, well, yeah, I guess it could. It can go through the, like, your money doesn't get ruined. No, you don't wash it, like, but what if you accidentally wash it? Like, what if it was like in your pocket when you put it in the wash? Like, it's not gonna come out like crumbled. It's like plastic, basically. We've got cool money. It has magical things hiding in it too. Yeah, I don't think you'll be able to see. Like, can you see, like, a holographic queen right there? Do you see her in the shiny part? Come on, queen! Where's your little face? Just pop out? Well, it's in there. This is when Tay starts her magic trips, rip it in half, and then poof! I see an art queen, says Justin. Oh, you cutie little patootie. <laughs> you guys kill me. It's the lady that never dies. <laughs> no, that's fair. She's gonna live forever. Anyway, now I'm just getting off course. I'm starving. So I'm gonna see all y'all next Thursday. What is it? The 10th. Thursday the 10th at 8 p.m. Mountain Time. If you're seeing this on YouTube, make a caffeine account. Come hang out with us. Right, guys? It's fun when we get to chill live. Most people watching YouTube probably don't even get to this part anyway. Who are we kidding? They're like, the painting's done, bitch. I'm gonna go make a ca hash brown casserole, apparently. Um, uh, and uh, it'll be something Christmassy that we'll paint next week. There's one I've done many times with like two like cardinals. Cardinals? 
Is that what those red Christmas birds are? Krampus? Hey, we can do Krampus. I love a good monster. 10 out of 10, we'll hang out again. Best rating compliment I could ever get. You also questioned the name in the snowman painting. Olaf? Or what, man? Oh, of Cardinals, right, right, right. I'm an idiot, yeah. Cardinals, Cardinals, Cardinals. And the Grinch could, oh, we can maybe do the Grinch. Would you guys want to paint the Grinch? Like Dr. Seuss version Grinch, like the cutie little cartoon? That might be better. The Grinch or Cardinals, you guys? Yes to the Grinch. Okay, wow, confirmed. Remind me in an hour to add Grinch to next week's painting. Okay, cool. Well, guys, I love that. Now I don't have to think about it. I like that. Usually on Sunday, I like panic. I'm like, it's Sunday! What are we painting? And now we're a week ahead. Maybe I'll send out the schedule now. There was an animation called The Snowman that was really cool, too. Okay, let me see. It was a book. The Snowman. The 1982 film! Yes. Ooh, that's a cutie. Wait, can we see it over here? Right him? I recognize, I didn't, when you said it, I didn't recognize it, but right when I saw that little green hat, I did. And they like fly around somewhere, don't they? Uh... That's cute, that's cute. Okay, perfect. We've got ideas. I like that. Well, thanks for being so pumped, you guys. You know the drill. Follow me on Caffeine, YouTube, Instagram, Etsy, Tateski across the board. We'll be painting the Grinch. I'm back to working on commissions. Don't forget about my auction starting tomorrow. A bunch of framed prints and stuff will also be going onto my website the same day, which is also Tateski.com. Oh my gosh, who does my branding? <laughs> Kenzie's gonna research pop sockets. Um, which is a good idea. I didn't know as many people were excited, but I guess <laughs> what did I mean? Would you look at that? Tay Tay Ski. Um, yeah, I think that's it. That's all you guys. Um, the Grinch holding an ornament like this. Don't worry, I'll find some good pictures. It'll be like a cutie cartoon version of him. It won't be like, well, realistically the Jim Carrey one's like kind of cartoony too, but we'll resolve that. Okay, you guys, I'm talking forever. Thanks again. You're the best. See you on Thursday. Okay. Bye.